and and also um, uh, follow house, of course. Yeah. No. Do those things. Um, and of course, we have coming up this set. We have Vivi versus Teapot. As I mentioned earlier, you couldn't hear me. But as I mentioned earlier, we are going to be seeing Terry versus Hero. Um, and, you know, Terry, obviously a character with more than enough ability to kill Teapot, a very, very solid player for sure. Uh, however, Vivi, very, very familiar with this character. And with the mobility that Hero provides, uh, it's going to be difficult for Terry to really find those consistent stocks. Yeah, no, I absolutely agree. Uh, Vivi's, Vivi's hero especially just feels like the kind of character who will not let uh, Terry play the video game. Yeah, uh, and being able to space out with those uh, sword hitboxes as well as Accelerado. But, but quick, yeah, quick roll read in has allowed Teapot to make it. Ooh, okay. No. Oh, was he out of mana? I was not no, able to do his mana. At uh, all. They they still had plenty of mana left on the board. I think just yeah. misjudged uh, maybe the level of swoosh that they needed. All right, uh, gets the parry on the power dunk. Only uh, whoosh out of shield and another one. Okay. And maybe looking for a situation just to finish off this Terry stuff. You cannot let Terry build up rage, build up the ability to you know go for go once more. Um, but looking likely that um, Tuval will be able to, at the very least, get Go does indeed get uh, his comeback mechanic, but a quick reaction on the neutral getup is going to allow Vivi to take off that stock. Yep, Vivi still had Psych Up on deck and an F-Tilt. Psych Up absolutely going to be taking it, making sure that Teapot not able to use that Go meter at all. Yeah. And I really have liked thus far the utilization of Power Dunk. Um, by Teapot. Really coming in at difficult angles for Vivi to deal with. That auto cancel height will uh, be like, I think, zero on block. Um, so it's definitely difficult. Oh, you died. Gets the snooze and the crit. Yes! Let's go. I love, I love when I say you died and you died. Yes. We love to see it. You exploded. We love to see Chris here. Um, okay. Oh, uh, that crit's going to be giving Vivi so much momentum right now. And Teapot. With another uh, another stock worth of go gone, gonna have to work that much harder to get Vivi's next stock. Vivi already thrown out the flak. Yeah, ready to get that stock Are you off. Dead? Okay. Ooh, okay, we're back. Oh no! That, that time, time there was no mana. I always forget there's a sound effect that goes behind it. Um, Honestly, I, I do love the idea from Vivi right there. Teapot, you know, offstage and Vivi had Accelerado. That looked like a free forward air for a game. Okay, uh, but you get touched, you're exploding. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That did 40 damage. That up tilt did 40 damage. Were they uh, <laughs> just psyched up or was that psych up and oof? That was psych up and oof. Um, uh, yeah. Yes. That, that'd do it. So Absolutely. 100%. There's the psych up. There's the oomph. There's the parry on power dunk, and uh, look, he's at 93%. Actually, did closer to 30 something, but like still, like come on. <laughs> Taking a look at Terry's shoes. Yeah, that did how much damage? Like 27. 27? Yeah, the 30 damage. That's one move. That's one up tilt. Did 30 damage. Um, yeah, that first stock, I don't really know what happened. Vivi still had plenty of mana. Yeah, uh, but Vivi still, you know, utilizing Those Hero's battles. tools to his advantage, Terry got the roll to uh, see uh, Snooze. We got a stock off with a crit like that. Boom, on the jump in. You died. Crit. Which was <laughs> so 46. Big. Speaking of 40 damage, uh, there you go. There it was. Uh, we're going to Kalos. I'm not sure. I love this counter pick considering Hero is, you know, going to be able to abuse uh, the big. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, no. Vivi's going to have a great time uh, just getting whatever they want out of the menu on this stage. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure what motivated this counter pick coming out from the okay. team. Okay, the reads on Vivi throwing out projectiles though has been really good with the power dunks. Going for jump power dunks um, at heights that it would be zero on block. So Vivi is forced to parry. Vivi has shown that he's more than capable of doing those parries. However, um, it, it, it just puts Vivi in a position where he can't really throw those projectiles super duper freely. Um, Tifa has made some really good adaptations with that. Yep. Okay. That was a very yeah. scary situation right there. Yeah. Absolutely. It is. That is a tough timing. You can air dodge through that, um, but you have to time it like well into the win box part of that move. Um, and it is a tough timing. So Deepa not getting it that time around, and Vivi looking poised to move forward here. Uh, already looking good, but this is Terry. Ooh, sour spot of that down air. Yep. Okay. Oh, I love the stagger pressure with just the first hit of forward tilt. Okay. Vivi stepping back with the zapple. Back throw putting Vivi off stage right now. Another parry on Ooh. the power dunk. 
Oh, okay. The SDI out really good there. Uh, Vivi is well aware of the situations where uh, you get the SDI out and where you get the SDI in um, for Terry uh, jabs. So he's going to be getting out of that more often than you would see. Maybe a lot of people get out of that. Okay, missing the uh, parry there. Good Vivi. Okay, but instantly on the run in, a little bit of the impatience you're seeing from Teapot here um, has been having a lot of trouble getting the stock up. You're, you're Cherry, you should be letting people look to 150. And Vivi's just frustrating the heck out of Teapot right now with these like full stage projectiles. Again, this is why Kalos is tough. You really can't let a character like Hero go here if you're Cherry. You don't have the speed to deal with this. Oh, and only a Nair for the punish. All right, yeah, you okay. see auto cancel right there into the jab jab power dunk. Teapot. Oh my god. Okay. Using the crack shoot to get out of the kaboom that time. Not having to worry about any air dodge timing. Teapot looking to get some momentum started right now. That time finally getting in past the Zapple. And gets another power dunk. Oh my oh, god. Why didn't that get the Zow? That was wild. Um, really full reads coming out from Teapot all the way back into this game now. Okay. Ooh. Looking for that one big hit here are both players. Both players certainly in the range where they can kill each other with the right move. You know, uh, here we're going to be able to get, oh, just a psych up up tilt. Yep, the anti-air coming in from Vivi. Now, Teapot, once again, it has to work that much harder to get Vivi's second stock. That's, you know, zero for four stocks worth of go. Teapot just hasn't been able to get any of it started. And I think something you've noticed now, I mean, Vivi has stage control now, she's going to put on some pressure. But anytime that Vivi is forced to play in neutral, um, Vivi is going underneath the platform and not really allowing himself to get hit by those power dunks anymore. You really utilize that position super duper well um, to avoid those like full screen power dunks. Oh, okay. Okay. flip just a little bit by the rising tackle. You definitely want to sell it all active versus Terry. You just have the ability to evade. And the SDI in there going to get caught. Nice recognition by Teapot taking that stock. And we've seen Teapot has absolutely been able to bring games like this back. However, Psycho and the Cellar Rottle, so, 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 so scary. Oh, and you have all three. You're, you're a Christmas tree. And that uh, oh rising God. tackle actually was so smart because I believe the SDI in was to avoid the power dunk there. Yeah. Uh, Vivi yes. recognized that they were uh, much closer to the ledge. Oh my gosh, the sour spot of the... Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that. <laughs> oh no, you Buster live, Wolf. You live, you live, yeah, you yeah, you're fine. But that's big damage. We, we just decided not to roll. We just decided to roll for Zoom instead of up being, I guess. I guess. I think Vivi's jump might have been taken. I think maybe they tried to yeah, jump you know, out they, of the they menu. They probably thought they had jump. We can actually go back to that and see maybe where Vivi lost jump. Um, okay. Oh, almost definitely lost jump out while SDIing out here. Um, did Vivi just go for a jump here? Let's see. Yeah, no, I think Vivi lost jump while SDIing out of the down tilt. Let's go mm -hmm. back just a bit. I'm alive. He's not smoking. Huh? Oh. He's not smoking. Meaning that he. If you're did smoking, you don't have your double jump. Okay. God. Interesting. Gotcha. So there is a visual cue. Yeah, I didn't see the ring. Yeah, I just swung there. Yeah, I don't think he did anything. Just. Wait, but I thought that was the rings right there. Like right before the Buster Wolf. Was it? Let's see. Okay. We'll do it frame by frame. Okay, there was two down tilts, so there's one more. He swung I know, there. But it might have been between. Okay, swing. Swing. That's Are not the. Okay? No, that's not the. No, 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 not that. Ah, oh, you're right. There you got him. Go. Interesting. Double jump, baby. But he wasn't smoking. Who anyway, go? game three. Who knows? Yes, game three. The double. Th Mm -hmm. um, ended up not working out. Uh, the, the DI was pretty good from uh, Teapot to, uh, to not get put on the platform. Ooh, but that crack shoot from Ledge so good to get back to stage. A lot of potential on that move. And guys, I beat you again by accident. <laughs> you muted us again. John. John. John muted us again. John numbers uh, moments. 
Okay, so needless to say, game number three, we are back into it once more. Um, Vivi going for that bounce, not super duper useful versus Terry, but at the very least forces Terry to come to him a little bit. Uh, can start charging projectiles without having to worry about the pestering of Terry's. Yep. Though that being said, though, Teapot using just a little bit of damage from the reflected power wave to get Go Meter, actually. Wow. I, I yeah. have to wonder if that was intentional. But I mean, Ooh. bounce also useful. Even in uh, situations where, or even in matchups without projectiles, bounce is still somewhat useful because while it's active, it is removed from the menu entirely. Yeah, RNG manipulation. Um, so again, obviously very good for here there, but a Psycho backer was going to be able to take it for Vivi. Oh, you died! Oh my boom. god! Um, we are nearly at stock here, and that is that stock. That is going to be stock. That is one of the things, once Hero really gets going, gets some of those good rolls on the menu, it is kind of brutal. Um, oh, yeah, gosh, let's look at those full screen runs with the Cellar Rottle. So tough to react to. Back here on the plat, Vivi just full stage control right here. Tough for Terry to deal with. Yep, Teapot trying. Uh, throwing Ooh. out some of those power waves, trying to just slow the pace of the game down so that he can get something going. Finally getting the power dunk, putting himself on the board. Okay, yeah, we have uh, boosts on boost right now. Yeah, I think that's oomph and accelerottle yep. right there. Oh. Vivi Ooh. opting not to go off stage yeah. for the edge guard that time, even with the accelerottle. Yeah. Tough from that angle for sure. Terry can go pretty, like, not like super duper low, but can go beneath the stage to be hard to catch. And yeah, we have Psycho and accelerottle. You will die to nearly anything. I thought, he, I thought he was going to hit the up throw there. Yeah. Not sure if that would have killed just yet. Terry is a pretty big boy. However, we got heal. Okay. Flame touch at ledge. Yeah, we'll go for the two for yeah, That, that crashes the ledge. So difficult to react to. Oh, Ooh. I love the idea there from Vivi. Yeah, we're getting to the point where nearly anything from Hero will kill at this point. Yeah, that's it. Such as F tilt. F tilt will be doing it. Again, second time this set we've seen neutral get up reaction into F tilt. Uh, Vivi is so good at that, so consistent. I was playing him a bunch the other day, as a matter of fact. Just so good at reacting in general, maintaining stage control. Vivi has, has said that he's just trying to maintain more camping into his gameplay. He sees a lot of success when he does camp. Obviously, he has Lucario. He knows how to play defensively. Mm -hmm. um, but, like, he says with his hero, he just wants to continue camping and using stage control as much more as possible. That Kaboom roll was really big, catching uh, Terry clicking a button, and was able to get the fair um, off stage. Terry, obviously, a little bit of a sitting duck, especially high, just because Terry has the drift in so much. He doesn't have a whole lot other than, like, crack shoot and um, power knuckle, or burning knuckle. Uh, I really always forget the name of that move. To um, really get back to stage from a horizontal angle. Um, and ends up just working out really well for Vivi there. Two stock in that game, number three, some adaptation coming out for sure. And we're going to be moving on further into the bracket. Vivi going to be in our top 